up everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a favorites video just picking 10 of my most favorite things things that i use throughout my day throughout my week that i literally could not see myself like surviving the day or week without so i thought i would just highlight them here i know a lot of people always ask questions on like my hair routine skincare stuff like that and i just don't have 10 favorite items to go towards either of those things because as you're about to learn i keep it very very simple so i just wanted to grab 10 items that i just think help me make my day easier and that are just essential for me so here we go let's get into it let's start off with skincare my three products that kind of go on my face i literally okay when people ask me how often do i wash my face what's my skincare because i relatively have like very good skin and i make so many people mad because i literally just wash my face with water sometimes i don't even wash my face actually all the time i don't really wake up in the morning and wash my face i wake up and have a shower and that hot water from my shower is basically me washing my face and then i get out of the shower right away and i apply my facial moisturizer my lip balm and my sunscreen so facial moisturizer is by augustine bader it is the cream, la cream. Um, it's the rich one, so it has more hydrating because I am super, super dry skin over here. Um, and it just basically comes in like a little pump bottle. It's very, considering it's like called like rich, it doesn't like go on like super heavy or thick. It's like relatively thin. And then I just moisturize my face. And this is, this is a little bit expensive. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm pretty sure I looked online just now to check and I'm pretty sure it's upwards of $300. Um, but it's worth it because I'm telling you, this is the only face product I use. Like I don't wear makeup because I just know my facial moisturizer is doing its job. And that's the reason why I can, you know, what's that word where you could like convince yourself, um, that it's okay to spend a certain amount of money on a certain amount of, like on, on a certain product. So because I don't wear foundation, concealer, cover up, all that stuff, I'm saving money in those areas and i allocate it towards my facial moisturizer so if you guys are looking for a good facial moisturizer the augustine bader one is the one that i use but prior to that and this one's priced more around 90 dollars was the chanel moisturizer which again depending on your budget 90 dollars is also like a little bit pricey but honestly again for something that's so simple and can make like make or break your skin and how it looks and feels i think it's worth it so those are my two moisturizer options the augustine bader 300 plus um or the chanel face cream which is around 90 dollars so that's my stuff that I put on my face and that's literally all I do on my face I don't put anything else just moisturizer after I shower moisturizer right away and then another Augustine Bader product which is again a little bit ridiculous for pricing is a $50 chapstick but I'm telling you this is the best chapstick I've ever had like the way it just makes your lips feel they feel like just moist but in, not in a gross way. They feel just like very um, taken care of and really good. So that's why I like this lip balm. I literally have, it's it's stupid how much money I've spent on this lip balm. I think I have like eight lip balms because I like to keep one in my car, in my bag, in my house, in my gym, which is low key in my house, um, in my bathroom. And then I like to have extra stock just so that way if I do lose one, cause you lose them all the freaking time um, that I have another one. However, life hack, if you spend $50 on chapstick, you are highly less likely to lose it because it's expensive. I used to lose my Blistex or like whichever brand I used to use before, like every like, like every freaking day. And I would spend $3 like every week. So, I mean, I've had these ones for a very long time and they last a long time. So again, I rationalize it, there's the word, um, in order to afford the $50 lip balm, but it's so worth it. Last product that I use on my face, and this one was actually a suggestion from one of my followers slash friends slash clients, like literally so many people had told me to get this moisturizer, um, was the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. And matter of fact, as soon as I tried it, I started suggesting it to every single person and their brother that I knew because it was just such a good moisturizer. It goes on matte, so it's not like super greasy um, and it goes really well over your facial moisturizer. Um, and then it's SPF 40, so that's why I really like it. It's not that greasy look. It doesn't smell like sunscreen either. Like it's not like mm, sunscreen. Like it just, I'm trying to think of what it smells like. Honestly, like nothing, it's almost unscented. Like there's like the slightest bit of like SPF that you can smell. I don't even know if that's the chemical that you'd be smelling on, on sunscreen, but Anyway, very, very good. And they also, from what I've heard, have like actual like full body um, sunscreen as well, which I haven't tried yet, um, but I definitely always wear this on my face. Now, again, price point for this, I forget what it is, but I wanna say it's probably like 45 to $50. However, if you are looking for another cheaper option, the sunscreen that I used to use on my face before this was the Neutrogena um, sunscreen, and it was very well like 
it felt felt good on my face too it was a little bit more liquidy and like slimy but it did moisturize or like seep into my pores um better this one just the way it applies is just really good so which is why i like the unseen sunscreen so in terms of facial products we literally have just like these three it's literally augustine bader for the win for my face and my lips and then sunscreen is the unseen sunscreen by super goop Moving on, once I've done my face, obviously I go into my kitchen and I start my morning routine with my breakfast and seeing clients and et cetera like that. So what I've started doing lately and what and why I'm like including it, because obviously product wise for supplements, I take my greens, my immune factor, as well as my protein, as well as my creatine, but something that's relatively new within the past two months, I would say, would be taking Blade by Blue Star. Um, so this is a fat burner that you do take and it's in pill form, which is what I like. I'm not a big like, powder to liquid person so it just comes like in a little a little capsule like this and you take two of these you do have to take them with food if you do not take them with food i promise you speaking from my experience um it is not a good time you do have to make sure there's something in your stomach um so you, i take them i take mine there are the words i'm looking for i take mine in the morning with my breakfast i take two and then i usually wait till around like late afternoon, early dinner to take my second two. So I'm taking four in total. Um, what I really like about it is I do find, and like maybe it's a placebo effect, but I honestly do find I am feeling a little bit leaner um, and just overall like little things like I sweat a little bit more, I sweat faster, things like that that are gonna help obviously um, with that like fat burn um, is really good. So that's why it is their fat burner and I'm a big fan. So that's why I wanted to include in this one because I do know in terms of supplement wise, people are always asking what I'm taking. so. So in general, what I'm always taking is protein powder, creatine, greens, immune factor, as well as the blade. I have I have started taking their GH Peak as well. I haven't been taking it long enough though to like really be able to say it's like a favorite or a staple yet. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer and see how that kind of like goes with my body before I start sharing that one. But in terms of supplements, those are my favorites. This one is definitely new and why it's included in this video. My fifth favorite thing ever is my Amazon water bottle. So this is a liter and a half of water. And ultimately I wanna be drinking about two of these a day. So I fill it up right in my morning with my breakfast and then sip it throughout my morning. And I try to make sure one of these is done latest by like 12.30 or one. And then I fill it up again and then I try to drink a whole other one by the evening plus like a little bit more. Cause I am aiming to have a gallon of water and a gallon of water is around four liters. So this is only three, two of them. So I you have to drink a whole other liter after. Um, but honestly, it's really big and it's perfect because I know when I'm carrying it, if it's still really full, it means I haven't drank enough water. And I just make sure to keep it with me at all times. And it's just one of those things that it's like so big that I can just like hug it um, or carry it by its handle. I have the sippy attachment on, so I just like to, I don't know about you guys, but honestly, life hack, if you like slurp, out of your water bottle, I feel like you drink more water than if you like uncap it and like drink it. That's just honestly maybe a me thing, but I have found that having like the little sippy cap has definitely helped me consume more water because you're just like sipping on it like whenever you want and it's just so much more convenient. So this was on Amazon. I'm pretty sure for a bottle this big, it is stainless steel um, and you can get them in a bunch of different colors. I'm pretty sure this was around like $34, so relatively inexpensive um, and it keeps you hydrated and reminds me to drink your water. So. This is a really great ad. If you're someone who doesn't drink water, this, this has become my new favorite friend. So that's number five. Number six, now I'm not gonna lie, these were gifted to me, and I do know these shoes are slightly a little bit of a higher price point, but they're the APLs, and they're the runners, and they are so cute. Look at them. Shout out to my friend, Kevin. I literally went online, I was like, Kevin, what shoes are the cutest shoes? And he's like, Taylor, get these ones. And they're freaking so cute. Look at the little lines. And what I like about the lines is because there's literally so many clothing options that you can wear with them. Like, look, you can do like cream, red, there's like a green in there, there's a blue, there's a like, I don't know, just so many colors. So that's why I like them. They're also super comfortable. Like, look how much like, I don't know if that's foam or something, but they're just really comfortable. I'm not a runner, so I haven't ran in them, but I definitely do my treadmill, my stairs, um, my upper body days in them, and I find them very comfortable. I do know someone who does run in them, Kelty, and she posted hers. She has a white pair, and she says she also loves them, so I'm gonna take it from her that they actually do feel very comfortable for running as well. I just don't run, but they are super cute. I wear them for every day as well as just like fitness, and like they would even go with the sweater I'm wearing right now. That's how versatile they are, and they're very cute, but, 
That being said, I do know APL is a slightly higher price point. I'm pretty sure these shoes are again, 300 plus, but honestly, they're very well made as well as I feel like in terms of actual like support and how they make your foot feel, they're very much worth it. Um, I'm someone who usually gets a ton of like cramping in my foot um, because I'm flat footed. Mm. So usually most shoes don't feel good on me, um, but these APL ones do. So they're one of my favorites. Charger, so this is the charger, and this is one of my favorites because I've recently been traveling, so it's literally the perfect thing. It charges my phone and my watch at once, and it's just one device, and it folds up like uber thin. So this is by Apple, obviously, because they're the most sleekest person in the entire, fr is there a stain on it? Ignore my stain. Um, they're just sleek in the market. And that's why I like it just out of pure convenience and it takes up literally no room in my bag. So that's why I like this one. I'm pretty sure this is around $90. Again, I'm gonna link everything. Um, but if you're someone who travels a lot or has like a small nightstand and has an Apple Watch and a phone, amazing. It's also really great because you can stick your phone. I'm not gonna, I don't obviously have my phone cause actually no, I do. I was gonna say, obviously I don't have my phone, I'm filming on it. I'm filming on my camera. Um, but I like doing it cause you can stick it to the back of your magnetic phone. And then because the cord goes at the bottom, you can still like text and you don't like end up like making your cord all stupid at the bottom. So that's why I like this one as well. And I can also charge it and have it like stand up when I'm charging it. Cause again, the cord's here and not like here. So I can like prop it up against something and have my phone still charging. And for me to able, for me to be able to easily see things pop up, literally perfect. So again, so this is number seven. Moving on to product number eight. All right, if you're Canadian, or I'm pretty sure literally everyone and their brother also has this. It is the little like messenger bag. I'm gonna call it a messenger bag. I don't actually know what it's really called. I'll, again, I'll link it. Um, but it's the bag that literally everyone has and it's just like a little side bag. And everyone I know has it because it's so convenient for travel. I use it the most when I'm traveling because it, it like it fits my passport, it fits like my lip chat, my cards, my cash, um, and it and it just sits next to me, so I know no one's gonna you know yank it off my body and steal it from me. The other thing too is just something that's super quick to grab, and you will probably see me nine times out of ten with this bag on my body. Like it's just so convenient and tiny. So it has the one big zipper that opens up to everything inside. And there you have it. There's my AirPods, which are kind of clunky because they're like the original OG guys. Um, my cash and then my cards on this side. So tons of room and it's just really convenient and comfortable. And I hate carrying a bag. Like I hate this. And the really long side bags that hang too low, I also hate that because I'm short. So this is good for me. Love this bag. Another one of my favorite items. And this is gonna have to do with one of the releases that's literally releasing today is the Gymshark new Adapt. So this is literally my favorite. So I really like the green that's releasing. As you guys can see, it's just like such a, such a cool texture. Like the camo is not necessarily camo because you can physically see it, but it's more camo because of like the feel and like the detailing. Now, obviously on something like the beige, you can see more of the camo, but honestly, it just feels so comfortable. I would say one thing to warn you about because I do love these shorts, so I'm like being very careful. I have rounded nails, so I'm not doing too bad, but if you're someone who's got like square or like stiletto nails, um, definitely be careful just like hiking up your shorts and pulling them up because there are different areas, like as you can see with the camo, that you would be like, hmm, maybe that's a little bit more fragile. So just to be careful as you're pulling them up and down your body, not to like puncture your shorts. So I personally really like the beige as well as the green. And these are my two favorite colors. It also comes in a black um, as well as a red. I have the black, they're just dirty because I wore them today. So clearly also a favorite. And then I didn't order myself the red color, but it's absolutely freaking beautiful. And I imagine myself loving it if I had it. But these are the two colors that I really like. So that's coming in at number nine. 10 would be my phone. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the actual phone case itself. It is a magnetic phone case and it's something that I switched to recently. It's by Magbank. Um, and yeah, it basically just has this. You can put extra magnet magnets on it if you want. I chose not to because I just felt like magnets on the back of my phone, like super powerful magnets might corrupt my phone. I don't know. I'm sure it doesn't because obviously they sell it together, but I just chose not to. That being said, even without the extra magnets, like my phone still sticks to metal. Like when I'm at the, when I'm at, when I'm at the gym, I can like easily stick it on the machine, have my timer going, um, and then I can just see my phone and when my rests are. So that's another one of my items that I really like. I got it in the black, but you can also get it in like the dark blue. There's some other colors as well. So to summarize, my favorite tight items, we have my phone case that's magnetic. 
We have my Adapt shorts in the two different colors. I also just freaking love Adapt in general, so that's just another thing. Again, these go on, these go, ah! These go up today, so if you guys do want to shop, I will put my link below as well. Um, I always appreciate your support if you do shop through my link. I love you, I appreciate you, and I just, it takes, it, it means the world that you guys use my link out of everyone else's, so thank you so much. Um, and then we have my side little messenger bag that's very cute and little. And then we have my water bottle, or no, I, for, oh, I forget what order I set everything in. Anyways, we're gonna guess. Then we have my water bottle, as well as my APL shoes. And then we also have Blade, and then of course to end off, oh, my charger, that was the one I forgot, my favorite charger. Um, and then we have my three face oil products. So like literally all of my favorite things just like boom, right in this video. So yeah, I'm gonna link everything below. Hopefully you guys like it. If you guys did end up getting any of my favorite items that are now your favorite items, let me know, comment below. Um, if you want me to do a different video that's like kind of more specific to like I don't know, like workout gear, um, supplements, food, um, accessories. I would say I could do beauty products, but honestly, like I really only use a couple. Obviously, maybe when I do my makeup one day, I can go through and show you my favorite products that work well with my skin. But honestly, I'm a very simple girl. I'm a simple girl. Moisturizer, sunscreen, lip balm. That tends to be what it is. But that is all for it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it was different than any of my other ones. But again, if you guys want any other type of favorite videos, just comment below. And I will see you guys next time.